Imagine as a teenager or a younger person not being able to participate in your favorite sports, get a bite to eat with some friends, or even go to school. I can't imagine. Unfortunately, for those with pediatric IBS, the associated functional abdominal pain can be debilitating. But there is good news. Excellent. I'm telling you, there's a treatment that's showing really tremendous results. Love hearing that. Let's learn more from a patient and her doctor. Take a look. I went from being a normal girl who went to social gatherings and was energetic to dealing with pain every day and waking up and not knowing what to expect, if I can even get out of bed. And then I was diagnosed with functional abdominal pain due to IBS. For 18-year-old Landon Olivia, life was going great until it wasn't. That diagnosis changed her world. My life was very free and I really was an active person. I would be at dances. I was a competitive cheerleader. The first time where I had symptoms, I was on my way to see a friend after volleyball practice. And um, my lunch was just starting to sit very heavy. And I just like, my lunch came back up. From then on, it just progressively got to the point where I couldn't eat without pain. So food became associated with pain. It just got bad enough to where I wasn't able to function like I normally would in life. Functional abdominal pain associated with IBS is a disorder where patients have significant pain with just the general movement of their GI tract. There is increased sensitivity of the colon. Either it moves really fast or it moves very slowly, hence IBS diarrhea type or IBS constipation type. Disorders of brain-gut interactions can happen to anyone. Irritable bowel syndrome can be incredibly debilitating. You have some patients who are specifically situationally triggered and some people have constant pain. Many people undergo several tests and have a delayed diagnosis as some medical professionals don't recognize the severity of the signs and symptoms associated with IBS. She came to me with complaints of abdominal pain, nausea, inability to eat large portion sizes, and her symptoms were well managed and then she had a flare of just uncontrollable symptoms. Her pain was constant. She could eat very little. She would vomit. This was a very severe case of irritable bowel syndrome with a pain predominance. The pain I experienced was so debilitating to the point where I completely stopped eating for days at a time, like three, four days. When you're malnourished, you don't have any strength to move. I wasn't able to walk around. I wasn't able to go up and down stairs. It really kind of like slaved me to my room, my bed, the couch, because if you get out of the fetal position, things are going to start to hurt. Nobody wants to live their life like that. So that in general is just something that changes the trajectory of your entire life, no matter what age you are. Throughout her ordeal, Land and Olivia's family have been right by her side. I would describe my sister as somebody who is resilient, um, graceful, kind. Beforehand, we would do so many active things together. It was just really disheartening to be so close to her and I really couldn't do anything. We didn't understand what was going on and we were looking for answers. And after understanding what problems we were looking at, we were trying to do everything we could in our power to get her the help that she needed. So from the time that I began having symptoms to my diagnosis was about an eight month time window. Um, they decided to run a bunch of invasive tests and procedures to try to figure out what was going on. Once they finally did, they decided to put me on so many medications at once. And after trying so many different, different resources and exercising every possible way to get better, I just kind of lost hope with that. Like, how is every single medicine not working? Why is no procedure helping? When we come back, how Land and Olivia found relief from the pain. Stay with us. Welcome back. Hope is on the horizon for our patient, Landon Olivia, but it took time. Our story continues. 
My fear and my husband's fear was that we might lose her because she would more and more often just be losing weight. She wasn't able to eat and she wasn't able to hydrate. She became a prisoner of the pain. And to see your child shackled in their life by that pain is incredibly difficult. She just really couldn't live an independent life. We didn't think she could get her license. We didn't think that she would be going off to school um, to go live in a dorm because we found her on bathroom floors. Um, she wasn't able to come upstairs by herself. And those chains were broken free through a lot of prayer, and the answer to our prayers came with IB STEM. Landon Olivia was struggling. So she failed lots of different medicines and she failed lots of different interventions. So I considered IB STEM and it was a really, really good fit for her. IB STEM is a non-surgical device that works by sending gentle electrical impulses into cranial bundles located in the ear. This stimulation resets the communication between the brain and the gut. It is a simple application that consists of one small battery and four leads that are attached behind the ear. 90% of the patients that I have placed the IB STEM device on have had market improvement, almost symptom-free after treatment. So for Landon Olivia, by the end of the eighth device, she was back to functioning normally. The application was really easy. I sat on the table and she just had me pull my hair behind my ear and she stuck it on. And I was like, wait, 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 that's it? So then I went home and the next morning I woke up and I was like, okay, my stomach pain is getting a little bit better. And then by time about three or four days came, I actually had zero pain. I just remember having like a great day after that and I couldn't ask for a better gift. I think it's important for people to know that IBS can be very debilitating and folks are not alone. IBS is incredibly common and can be seen in pediatric patients. And I'm glad that we now have IB STEM as a treatment modality that can be life-changing for the right patient. Advice that I would give other parents is don't give up. Write the letters, spend time on the phone with your insurance company, fight for them, advocate for them. IB STEM changed every aspect of her life. And now I'm not afraid. And in the fall, she's, she'll be on her own. And I'm totally okay with that because she's living pain free. Some advice I have for patients in my situation would be to step out of your comfort zone and try IB STEM because I didn't experience any side effects unlike any other medicine that I tried, any other procedure. My life just got better. It's been indescribable how amazing it is. Just getting back to reality slowly and just being able to introduce uh, more foods, more activity, more uh, just more time spent outside the house and everything. And I'm really happy to have my sister back. So now with the relief that IB STEM has given me, I'm able to look forward to my future and when I'm getting to plan my career. I also got to start my own business and I got to do ballet, which has been a childhood dream of mine. So I'm really getting to take my life back and it's been amazing. So glad to see that Land and Olivia is doing great. Absolutely. Look, remember to ask your doctor if this treatment might be good for you. And if you want more information, go to ibstim.com. And of course, you can always go to our website, thebouncingact.com. We'll be back right after this.